Residents of South Boston are casting their votes here at James F. Condon Elementary School and Community Center. For some voters, like Kelly Crawl, this election is the first time abortion is one of her main concerns. It was uh, definitely one of the leading reasons that um, I voted for the person that I voted for today. I think especially living up here in the Northeast, um, you know, statewide, we, we don't really think much about it. So I think this was the first time it was really a national conversation. Voters gathered to cast their ballots at East Boston High School. One voter told us there's too much at stake to write in a candidate. Writing in votes or voting for third party candidates is not the smartest uh, thing to do. Uh, we are in a very close race. Uh, there's a lot of people's rights at risk. Me personally being Latin and queer, I am terrified for the results of the election. Some women voters say they're concerned about reproductive rights. At the end of the day, guess what? They're going to want to have their lives. They want to have, they're going to want to have children. If they don't, that's on them. But, you know, on a mindset right now, when it comes to females, girls, it's, we, we, we can't just say, no, no more, no. It's ourselves, our bodies. Our daughters need to have a say of what they want to do. You know, that's how I feel. It's not, it's just, this is our rights as us have being females. Why take it away? Boston voters are divided on ballot question three, which could allow rideshare drivers to unionize for better pay and working conditions. For voter Daniel Moniz, this is a bad idea for transportation networks. The bottom line is, if you're going to uh, unionize, there has to be strict rules and laws. And I, don't, I think the Uber guys can make more money not unionized, personally. But that's just my own opinion. Voters in Massachusetts will decide whether or not minimum wage for tip workers should be increased to $15 an hour over the next five years. One Roslindale voter thinks it may cause undue stress on businesses that are just starting out. That's a tricky one, uh, just because I think that that doesn't necessarily help small companies. So for those companies that are kind of on the borderline of trying to make it work, um, this kind of law could kind of put them over the edge. The Brighton YMCA encouraged voters to cast their ballots in four different languages, but many voters actually mailed in their ballots this year. One voter chose to vote in person instead of sending in a mail-in ballot, but emphasized the importance of doing so. Hopefully it's just more the knowledge that people can do it and it's more accessible. The NAACP says that Kamala Harris's campaign has seen a rise in black male voters under 50. Roxbury first-time voter Henning Washington says Harris isn't the Democratic candidate for him. The Democrats of today are very different than the ones uh, from maybe the Bush election or the Obama uh, election. And so, um, personally, I don't think um, Harris speaks to my generation of Democrats, I feel like someone like Bernie Sanders or uh, Mary Williamson does that a lot better.